Hey, uh, so welcome back. Uh, yeah, so this is now going to be, I guess, part three of my introduction to Comcare series. Um, in this part, I'm just going to clean up my app a little bit. Um, I've, I've kind of got the basics working, uh, but I want to... Um, I want to just do some polish. I want to show you how you can kind of improve the user experience of, of your application a little bit. Um, so that's that's my plan. Um, and so to to start with, uh, right now I have I have these three modules. This this event case list module I, I kind of just made because I needed to to be able to 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 select it in the new event form. Um, I don't need this module yet. I don't I don't necessarily plan on editing my events or or anything like that. Maybe, maybe I will one day, but but right now I don't. Um, and so um, I'm going to use a filter, uh, or sorry, I'm going to use a, a feature um, called module filtering. Um, and one thing you can do is you can you can literally just type false with this parentheses. It's it's a function, um, and that will basically say never. Uh, so the filter, the way the filter works is if the statement is true, it'll show the module. If the statement is false, it will not show the module. If you just put false with the parens, it's always false. Um, and so now hopefully, yeah. So now that's gone. Um, cool. And I'll, I'll just, I'll drag it to the bottom. Can I drag it? I'll drag it to the bottom. Um, and you know one one thing I like to do um, is just say hidden, and that way you know I won't I won't forget that I hid this thing. I won't wonder why it's not showing up in my app. Um, cool. So nice. So now I've simplified my home screen a little bit. The other thing I noticed uh, is that so when I go to create an event. So I click on create event module, um, and then I choose you know which event type I want to enter, and then I click uh, through this case detail, um, and then I click on this new event form, and so actually it takes it takes me four clicks or four screens to kind of get where I want to be um, and yeah we can we can make that better so so the first thing I'm gonna do uh, is I'm gonna remove that second screen we saw so um, the screen where like after I clicked running uh, it kind of popped up a second window um, and so Ooh, that's interesting. <laughs> this is a uh, this is a funny a funny bug that I just ran into. Um, basically, what happened was when I moved the module and then renamed it without refreshing the page, Comcare got confused. Uh, so it it actually renamed my uh, create event module um, to uh, to that hidden thing. Um, so if I want to actually edit that, I'm going to open that in a new tab after I've moved it. And you know, <laughs> obviously Comcare is not perfect. Um, these are these are useful things to kind of kind of learn, I guess. Uh, if you move modules around, um, that is one of the things that that Comcare doesn't handle very well. Um, and so actually what, what I recommend, especially if you're doing this thing where um, you're editing stuff in new tabs, is like if I move a module, I'm just going to go through and refresh all of my tabs that, that were app building tabs because, um, because sometimes you can get uh, really messed up that way. Um, and I know uh, <laughs> being part of the development team, this is something that we've, we've wanted to fix for ages. It's, uh, it's just... Um, it's harder than it, it seems. But 
right. So where was I? So yeah, so I was talking about how I wanted to get rid of this, um, this second pop-up screen. So when I create an event, um, so and, and it'll be helpful to kind of learn some Comcare paradigms here. So this, where I'm, I'm looking at these three activities, this is, Comcare calls this the case list screen. Um, and then when I click and it shows me this information about the one I've selected, that's called the case detail screen. And the way you configure those is from this case list and case detail uh, tabs here. Um, so, you know, in, in my case list, I can configure what's showing up. Right now, I just have name showing up. Um, so that's that's what that's why we're seeing this name here. If I added another property, like if I added the last event date property, um, and we can say that this is a date, or the time since or until date. Uh, sounds interesting. So let's, yeah, okay. So let's say days since that date. That'll be interesting. Um, cool. And then the case detail screen now is the one I want to remove. And it, it, it's actually not clear in Comcare how you would remove this screen. Um, so this is, another again, one of those things you just have to learn. But if you just get rid of all of the properties, uh, then Comcare will stop showing you that screen. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's one less box. Uh, it's not as intuitive, but once you learn it, it kind of makes sense. So let's let's check out those changes. So this was in the create events module. Cool. Um, last event date. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> So if you remember, I, I did choose days since date. So it has been one day since the last time I went running. So it's 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 working, um, although it is a little bit uh, counterintuitive. Um, so maybe, you know, I, I don't actually like that. So maybe I'll just change that to a date format. So it'll just be a little a little more intuitive. And then, yeah, so now when I click doesn't show me that pop-up, takes me straight into this uh, new event form. Cool. So I have successfully saved myself one click. Um, but really, there's only one form in this module, right? So I've got this like create event module, and then I select the activity type, and then there's a new event form. That seems redundant. Um, and so, and that's fine. We can, so Comcare actually has a way of of bypassing that, and again, um, these are the these are the things that you learn when you when you kind of get into more advanced Comcare stuff. But it's in this menu mode option of of the module itself, and so for the module, I can say display the menu, which is which is the module name, uh, and then and actually I suspect that maybe Demagi is trying to to get rid of the word module and 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 bring in the word menu so I, I hope I'm not confusing you all but I'm used to the word module so I'm going to keep using that um, but so I can change this menu mode to to display only forms and and basically what that will do is instead of showing that create event thing on the home screen it will show um, the display only forms uh, or, or sorry it'll display the forms so it'll it should display new events on the home screen and um, and so let's see what that looks like. So right, so now it says new event instead of create event. Um, you can see the dates, that's looking better. Um, and now I'll jump straight into the form. Nice. So yeah, uh, I'll keep this one short. That's uh, cleaning up your navigation in Comcare.